Hello, this is about the nucleus, the dynamic system in Maya, something very basic and very general. Uh, I created two objects, basically you can start with any object, this of course is a torus, and I cut away the bottom part on both of them. So uh, I pick the first one and I go to FX here and create N particles and I emit from that object. The N particles emit from that object like this. A little bit too much for me. I go to surface so they have a more distinct emission and I go to the shape and here under shading you have points. You can change those to spheres. So that's the particle system you have now. Since we created that particle system, N particle system really, we have a nucleus. It's sitting right here. And when we create um, another thing in the N world now, like for example N cloth, create N cloth, uh, both are in the same dynamic system, that nucleus. Now when I move the cloth over here, and move it up like this, what does it do? Well, it kind of interacts with the particles, which is just nice. It's all due to the nucleus here. And when we introduce a different gravity here, instead of 9.8, we reduce this to 3. Both simulation parts, the particles and the cloth obey that new gravity. It does not respect the half torus which uh, emits the particles because the uh, half torus of the particle, the particle emitter, is not part of the nuclear system. It's just uh, an emitter which sits somewhere in the scene. Now each of these objects, like the cloth object for example, and the particle objects have their own dynamic properties, uh, but they have a general property here in the nucleus. So that's the gravity which we just changed. We can change the air density, so everything, when we increase this, everything gets much slower. We have a wind speed here. And when we increase this from 0 to, say, 9, the wind direction is in x only. So here's a 1. There's no uplift of the wind. Although we can change this, give it a little bit of a, an uplift here. And no wind in the uh, z direction. So the wind is blowing from this side to that side and slightly up. And that affects both objects now, the particle system and the cloth system. Let's reduce the wind speed. So that's all I wanted to tell you. The nucleus is the central unit for the dynamic simulation in the N world. Bye-bye.